guys, this is Irina from Heal and Learn. Today I'm going to be talking about manifestation again, but the bodily aspect of it. Uh, I'm actually going to prep you for the upcoming course, Manifestation, Deeper Dating and Love Mastery, where I'm going to be talking about manifestation. The course takes place between the 9th and the 11th of October, so we call it the Love Weekend. And I'm doing this course in collaboration with Charlotte Common, who is a Deeper Dating Mentor, and with Alfredo Diaz, who is a Cards of Truth reader and consultant. So do check it out. So today I'd like to talk about three ways in which you can ramp up your body and align it to your manifestation desires. You see, when, when it comes to manifestation, we always think that it's only the mind, that it's only what we think that matters. But as a matter of fact, the mind-body link is unbreakable. It is indestructible while we are in physical body. So we can't possibly manifest anything unless our physical body feels perfectly fine, perfectly healthy. If you think about it, if you have a body ailment, if something hurts, uh, you're not going to be able to think any about anything else but to eliminate the pain. So the first thing is to make sure that we don't need to eliminate any disease and any pain. So we need to keep our bodies healthy. And I'm going to give you three significant, I mean, I, I wouldn't call them the major things you need to do, but very significant elements of the maintenance of your bodies that you need to do. So the first thing is parasite cleanse and detox. So mo most people talk about detox, about uh, cleansing your uh, intestinal system. And now already we know that most diseases come from the intestines. But it is not so that the combination of food by itself causes, uh, poisons the body. The problem is uh, there are parasites that are developed in an environment that is caused by bad food, bad combinations of food, decaying food, and so on. And these parasites start somewhere from the intestines and then spread throughout the whole body. So there are different types of parasites that can be found in the brain, in the liver, in the... I don't even want to tell you because it's a pretty disgusting topic. But um, uh, the fact of the matter is it's been proven now not you you won't find this in the in the probably in the cdc journals but it's been proven that a large percentage of the cancers are caused by parasites and not only that but migraines uh gastrointestinal problems uh e even problems with vision with your eyesight um, um irritability uh depression all these things could be caused by parasites well, the thing is, parasites live anyhow in our bodies, but they're activated, or most of us have parasites, let's put it this way. Uh, but the thing is, what allows for their multiplication and for them to start harming us, they're similar to bac bacteria in this sense. They're only activated in a negative way uh, whenever there's an external stimuli, like a bad combination of foods. And, and mind you here, I want to insert something I'm not propagating for uh, anybody to stop eating meat, but I can tell you that lots of parasites come from meats and fishes because uh, even with thermal uh, processing, some of the parasites or the eggs of them are not destroyed. So you can actually consume them. And as we know, whenever you consume meat and fish with something fresh, it's being decayed because the combination of a fresh fruit and vegetable and a meat um, allows for the decay, the fast decaying of the fresh food together with the meat that takes longer to absorb and to digest. But you can actually learn more about this in the program of Anna Steingold, who is talking about holistic um, health and nutrition and how to maintain your health and physical body in good shape and her program starts one week after the manifestation program. Let me go back to the topic. So how do you get rid of parasites? Um, there, there are three ingredients that you can find in a wide variety of supplements. I wouldn't call them medicines, but supplements out there on the market. And the three ingredients are basically the green peel of a walnut, carnations, and wormwood. So these three herbs in combination eliminate um, parasites and cleanse the digestive system. 
And um, so it's recommended that you anyhow do that once or twice a year, a complete parasite cleanse. And with this detox will follow. I mean, a lot of the parasites also call autoimmune, uh, also cause autoimmune sy uh, system diseases. I already mentioned cancers, but um, they destroy your immune system to the, to the level to which you're susceptible to seasonal flus, to other infectious diseases. As a matter of fact, I just briefly want to share my screen with you and show you the research of a doctor in Australia. So this doctor is called Kylie Wokstaff. She's a senior research fellow in biochem biochemistry and molecular biology in the Monarch University in Australia. And what she showed in a lab experiment some time back in April was that um, there's an antiparasitic drug called Invermectin that eliminates SARS-CoV cells in 48 hours. So this is not a medical advice that I'm giving here. I'm just saying that there's a very close connection between viruses and parasites. In some cases, they might actually be the same thing or a similar thing. So look it up if, you, if you're curious. As I, uh, again, this is not a medical advice. It actually explicitly says here, do not self-medicate. You know, it's, uh, it's still under testing. So the second thing to improve your bodily health is something that um, is practiced throughout the centuries, but we don't know what it actually does. So I'm talking about yoga and I'm not talking about the practice of yoga per se, but it is a practice that stimulates the uh, corticocerebral fluid in uh, some people call it the Christ oil. So it is the fluid that is um, produced by, I'm not even sure, but what part of the brain, but it flows down the spine. And with exercise, with the right exercise, we can activate this pretty quickly. I don't know if you've heard of the five uh, Tibetan rites. This, these are a series of five exercises that you do every morning, and this is called the fountain of youth. But what it does is, I noticed some time ago that the major movement, so there are different bodily exercises, but the major movement is with the head up and down like this. So you do different exercises, but the whole time you breathe and you move your head up and down like this. So what it actually does is it stimulates the flow of the cerebral cortex uh, fluid down through the first vertebrae on your spine. Um, this is quite interesting because um, in osteopathy, we are told, and, and it's supposedly this way, that the osteopath, um, through, the, through the use of energy, regulates the flow of the major rivers or the major fluids in your body. So the fluids in the body are extremely important and the most important is actually the flow of this major uh, spinal fluid. Uh, of course, you can stimulate it with yoga and with other exercises where you twist and turn. Every morning before you do yoga, for the ones that, that do yoga, it is actually recommended that you take a warm shower and you let the water flow exactly on this first vertebrae, exactly in order to stimulate the flows, the flow of this um, of this fluid, the Christ oil. Um, there is another very interesting exercise um, that involves breathing and movement again of the neck back and forth. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if I want to show it to you right now because. Um, you know, I need to stand up, but it goes something like this. So you move your hands like this, you breathe in, and then you stretch up and you breathe out. And you do this about 20 times while you're standing with your legs spread. Um, and so it's enough. It's actually better than any other exercise you do. Now, again, these exercises are not for physical strength or for keeping yourself in shape. Therefore, keeping your body young and making sure that the fluid goes where it where it has to. This fluid contains the, uh, the major source energy. I mean, it's not by coincidence that it's called Christ oil. The third thing that will keep your body ramped up for manifestation 
uh, is to make sure that you have some sort of a rhythm that is oriented in line with the circadian rhythms of nature because there are human circadian rhythms just like there are circadian rhythms on earth just like there are seasons so each period of time six six hour period of time in a 24 hour day is separated um, similarly to the seasons so in the morning we have spring then around lunchtime starts midday which corresponds to summer then we have the evening that corresponds to autumn and the night corresponds to winter so our activities and um, our bodily temperature should be coordinated with things that resemble things that we do in these times of the year so i have a video that i did about a year ago um, let me share my screen and show you which one it is because i have it open it is this one stay healthy with the rhythms of nature with the tengra system i'll put a link below but it actually explains what you should be doing for bodily health um, throughout the day and night what temperature what exercises you can do um, you can actually read about more about the circadian cycles um, on human window that is a another YouTube channel run by Martin Caparota, um, whom we have partnered with some time ago. Um, and he also has a blog article on healandlearn.com where you can read about the effects of blue light at night. So everything that you're watching and reading on your phones or mobile device is actually against the circadian cycle. And it, you know, even if you don't realize it actually affects your, um, your Christ fluid, the, the, your, it, it affects the pineal gland, which is crucial in the production of this cerebral fluid that runs down your spine. All right, so let me recap the three things that I recommend you do. I'm not saying that they're the most important thing, that I, but they are pretty crucial actually in keeping your body healthy and pumped up and ramp, ramped up and energized and ready to manifest. So the first thing is to make sure you're cleansed of parasites, especially, and detox, but detox follows the parasite cleanse. The second thing is to do the activation of, the, uh, of this Christ oil, so the cor uh, corteal fluid, corteal spinal fluid. And the third thing is to observe and make some rituals in line with nature. So again, I'm going to link my video on the Tengra method below, but it is actually to live in line with nature and according to the human circadian cycle. Thank you very much. Again, I'm inviting you to join the course manifestation, deeper dating and love mastery starting on the 9th of October. It's going to be a love weekend every day, a different expert. On Friday, 9th of October, I'm going to be talking about manifestation. Then on Saturday, Charlotte Common is going to be talking about deeper dating and how to find your core gifts. And on Sunday, Alfredo Diaz will be showing you more about the cards of truth and how to define uh, what you're looking for in your love life, maybe even discover your purpose. Um, and he's going to be doing short readings as a part of the uh, session for everybody who's willing to provide their birth data. So do check it out. Thanks again for watching. Do subscribe. <laughs>